Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to show you the full web rectifier in piece by circuit. So first, I will uh, take four diode. The diode will same values. Okay. There I set this for diode. You can easily set up this for diode. Um, then I will go for a resistance resistor. I will go for a resistor. The resistor value here is one kilo ohm, but I will take it hundred kilo ohm. Sorry. I'll take it 10 kilo ohm. Okay. And I'll take a capacitor. Obviously, I want to change the capacitor value. I'll take it. in 10 nanofaraday in F, okay. And I'll take V sign. Here I'm taking V sign. Also, uh, here must set the V sign. Uh, so uh, here AC is 10 volt. Save change. Change display. I think my window little bit of small. But okay. Uh, I want to show this AC voltage on window. So both name and value. Okay. Then uh, I don't want to show BDFF. So I'll give here zero volt. Set change, change display and none. Here I uh, click none and here, the amplitude, chain, volt, save, change, display. I want to show this uh, value and name on window. So both name and window, I click here. Okay. And frequency, I want to use the frequency of one kilohertz. One kilohertz. Okay. And face is zero. Yes. And it is zero. And obviously, you must ensure face is zero. Okay. I think almost. Done our setup. Okay. For clearing this, I want to choose you. Okay. And here we I will take ground and Add this with wire. First, I will wire this circuit. Here, D1 is connected to me. Okay. And the resistance.
the capacitor will connect with the resistor. Okay. And then I will connect connect our AC source with the circuit okay it's our complete circuit a full wave rectifier and then i will uh, save the file save as Unit three dot sch. Okay, save it, and I will go for the analysis. First, I will click SC swap. Here, uh, it's linear. And one i will start frequency one total one um if i don't uh, uh, do this one so it will show our sc signal uh, on simulation window so we don't want to see this sc signal so get this one and then transient actually we want to draw a transient um, voltage versus a uh, time curve in full wave rectifier. So transient value setting is most important in this term. So here I'll give Five micro second, five US, and our final time will fifteen millisecond, and no print delay zero, and stop ceiling. Five microsecond. Okay, and close it. Then go for simulation. Oh, sorry, here I forget to give the input. Here I will label V in. Okay. And the output will uh, come from the resistance base. So here I will give V out. Uh, so how, here I label it V out. You must ensure V out will come from the resistance base. Uh, so then uh, save again and simulate. Okay, here is come our window. Uh, I don't want to sh uh, see, is see, we'll see the transient value. So click transient option. Here uh, we want to uh, see the vo input voltage and output voltage. So current plot is plus the name of current and allies name i took this and here is our v in and v out first i want to see voltage input voltage v in so this is our input voltage uh, for the full wave rectifier then i will show you the output voltage V out. Uh, so 
This is our output voltage for full wave rectifier. You can minimize the time. I am using the 15 millisecond uh, time uh, on transient values. You can change it at 10 uh, millisecond, whatever you want to, and you can change it to 5 millisecond, but the curve will nicely in 10 millisecond. And so uh, I will show you both the voltage, input voltage and output voltage. So here the green signal uh, mentioned that the input voltage of full wave rectifier and uh, the red signal mentioned the uh, full wave rectifier output signal. So thank you so much for watching this video. We will meet the next video.